In this video, we're going to talk about uh, electric potential. Now, the electric potential describes a point in space. And so, if we look at this point over here, we are a distance r from a charge minus q. Then my electric potential v is simply minus q. Now, in this case, it is extremely sign sensitive over 4 pi epsilon naught r. So negative charges create negative potentials. Positive charges, so if I had changed this to plus Q, would then create positive potentials. And so to understand this, right, we have to look at the definition of the electric potential, which is over here, the work done per unit positive charge by an external force to bring a small test charge from infinity to the point with no acceleration. So consider the potential here created by minus Q, hence the potential is negative. If I bring a plus 1 Coulomb charge from infinity to this point with no acceleration, the nature of the electric field with respect to this negative charge here is attractive. And hence, this plus 1 Coulomb charge would accelerate if you don't do anything about it. And so what the external force needs to do is that it needs to point in this manner to ensure that this plus 1 Coulomb charge does not accelerate. No acceleration. And then I can say that the work done by this external force is therefore negative since it is directed opposite to the uh, motion of this plus 1 Coulomb charge. Okay, And therefore, by definition, the potential is negative. Similarly, if I had changed this to a positive charge, then the nature of the field with respect to this guy is going to be a repulsive one. And therefore, in order to push him from infinity to this point over here, the external force must then act this way in the same direction as its motion. And therefore, it does positive work. So essentially, the bottom line is when we calculate the electric potential at a point, remember that it is very, very sign sensitive. Now, if I have, again, a system of charges, quite a few of them for that matter, and I want to calculate the potential at a point, okay, remember that the potential here, V net, is simply the scalar sum of all the potentials created by each one of these charges at that point. And so this would be Q1 over 4 pi epsilon R1 okay, plus minus q2 over 4 pi epsilon r2 plus q3 over 4 pi epsilon r3 okay of course that's r1 that's r2 that is r3 and that is what we need to know about the electric potential